Okay, Max. It's time. Max, how? Hey, Max. Why you look so glum? Max, your life is crayons. This is the natural order of things. Pig is dying, so you must make it. How are you feeling in head, Mr. Stubbins? Good days and bad days, I mean. Happiness is a choice, Max. I knew I should have never let Max play with that piggy bank in the first place. In sad times... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! What the hell is that thing? This is not a thing, Shimshon. This is not a thing. This is, this is the body of a squirrel monkey and the head of my beloved Siamese kid, Shoshana. Look at this. He's not going to do anything to you. He's a good man. You see, I, I found Shoshana hunting for rats in the reactor room when we captured the U-boat. A few months later, she was dying of bowel cancer when, when I stumbled upon this practically brain-dead monkey chewing on a blasting cap. And please do me a favor, Mr. Blaskowitz, lower your ex. You're making me nervous. This is not only my, my favorite animal. This is most probably my, my most significant scientific achievement. Yes, you are significant. You, you're hungry? Here's a fish cake. You see, <clears throat> in order to do a cross-species head transplant, you need to A, bridge the spinal column. She's okay. B, harmonize otherwise totally recalcitrant biological system, respiratory and circuitry. Okay, I get it. Spare me the science mumbo jumbo. What am I doing? I'm like an old cotch cake who had such a long day and I'm I'm sorry. Let's see. You want something for to sleep, Ingle? No. No, I just need to keep busy. Distractions, uh, no, I understand. I understand. We all grieve in different ways, but I have a perfect distraction for you, Ingle. Look, a few days ago, Anya asked me to make a shooting range for the fighters on board. It's almost finished, but I was experimenting with an old German uh, drone for target practice when suddenly this fakakta machine went Adolf Hitler on me, started running Michigan in there. So, I had to lock it inside. Do you mind going in there and destroying the drone? And, uh, Feel free to, to try my shooting range. Tell me how you like it. No, just, just come back, give me your thoughts when you're done. Okay, Eli? Okay, I'll have a look. I appreciate it. Thank you. Shimshon, please take care of the drone running amok in the shooting range. Thank you very much.
Mr. Blaskovich, please go to the shooting range and destroy the drone running amok there. No, and feel free to stop my shooting range. Ain't you? Seth's got to be more careful with his experiments. What, Captain? Shimshin, how was my shooting range? Ah, well done, Yingle. You fresh apple, you. The Blaskovich, your lady Anya, she was here looking for you. Oh, 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 yes. Anya found Caroline's notes about the American resistance cell in New York City. Look for her in Caroline's room. Have you listened to the Kefa, Hassan? Yeah, what my darling? Interim leadership, you mean? Captain. Good evening, Captain Blaskowitz. Hello. You are free of your mother. Go on any romantic adventure you have. Just do it. Madeline, do me a favor. Just. Signore. Sometimes I think about how it is like back in Sweden. Will I ever get to see the crowd god again? Oh, William. I can still smell her in here. I found Caroline's notes on the American resistance cell in New York City. I know their exact location. Can you look for Fergus for me? He's been back on his feet again after the surgery. And I asked him to bring me some nitroglycerin from the ammo depot, but he hasn't returned. Go to the ammo depot next to the shooting range. Find him. Hello, Captain. You all right, 
Fergus? How's the arm? Please. Please help me. What happened to your face? I think she's trying to kill me, Blasco. Last what? Have you ever drifted off peacefully to sleep, only to be brutally awoken by your own prosthetic arm, savagely gubbing you in the eye? I had to turn it off. Is that normal? What's that say? Uh, something about there being a, a learning curve and whatnot. How I needed to learn how to trust it. I don't know. I'll tell you, I don't think I'll be using it to take a piss anytime soon. Maybe it's like training a game dog to show weakness in the pounds. What you gotta do is show that thing who's in charge. Right, right. Well, you just uh, stand there and be ready to step in in case uh, it looks like I'm about to die. fly in there in our Nazi helicopters because we're gonna be shot down. Can't we re-establish contact there and let them know our helicopters are friendly? I've looked, but I couldn't find any means of contacting them in Caroline's notes. Bloody hell. Well, we'll need to approach from ground level then. Introduce ourselves properly, face to face. Ground level. The whole city is saturated by fallout from the Nazi atom bomb. Lethal levels of radiation if we go there without protective wear. Yeah, well, this one... Well, this armor will shield from all radioactivity. Well, will you do it then, Blasco? Have you grown too weak and useless now? Always wanted to see the Big Apple. Lovely. Bombardier, drop him off now, eh? No problem, Wing Commander. Can I be of use? I don't know, lass. Can you? Five degrees pot, on sun continues. Straight forward. You got it, Blondie. Hey, big friend. You better watch out for the crocodiles. Crocodiles? He's not New York underground crawling with crocodiles. Oh no, I'm from Texas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. Blasco, find your way through the bombed out city and reach the state building. Faster the better. Fergus out.
fand es aber nach der Bombe einer der ersten in den Hecht.
State Building. Caroline, will you help light the way? See if it moves.
out of pain. Ain't dead. So keep moving. William, do you read? If you are on Fifth Avenue, the State Building should be near. showed me postcards from your family in New York City. Wanted to go there. Just you and me. Hello, big boy. Come to test the old man's mettle. Find a way to reach the top of the state building and make contact with the resistance group. 
Look for elevators, stairs, anything. The radiation levels should be acceptable at the top of the building. Your boy, Sonia. Every second, a glory. make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What are you say? You say you're a Nazi? No, 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 I am not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, okay? Well, you ain't a white-ass fascist Nazi pig, then you either colored or you're a deviant. Now, you sure as hell ain't colored, so you're trying to pass as a deviant? He look like a deviant to you, Sister Grace? Nope. Hang on, hang on. I may not be a deviant. God, I told I'm you he's a goddamn Nazi! Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! <laughs> Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn... Nazi. Hey! <laughs> now you bring Super Special back in and you put him down right now. Or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass, I'll be dancing and rejoicing as your entrails trickle down from the ceiling. You dig, man? Oh, lady. <laughs> I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? The Chrysal Circle. Especially escort this motherfucker inside the house and get him a hot meal. Let me put this pen back in. Shit! Take cover! <laughs> Relax, man. He's just a duck. Oh, you bitch got a sick sense of humor. Oh, dude, you're crushing me. Oh, oh. Chili, you okay? Is my papa's recipe. Ain't got no spoon though. Oh, thanks. So what's uh what the chicken fans? Chicken? <laughs> that's that's my Faraday cage, man. You, you dig? It, it keeps the the Nazi alien conspiracy from finding us. Oh, I almost got killed by William Goddamn Blaskowitz. Yeah. Oh. Do you mind? You were here when the bomb hit. Yeah, I was. I survived relatively unscathed because I was on the ground at the time when I came up. Looked like a vision out of Dante's Inferno, you know what I'm saying? I remember the main people just wandering through the smoke. I remember. Screams that went through the bombed out buildings like howling ghosts. And I remember this mother and son. This boy was blindly stumbling through the chaos. His arms were outstretched, calling out for his mama. And the heat from the bomb had melted the skin on his arms and they just drooped. Like he was wearing a shirt that was a couple of sizes too big. 
And I remember his mama. She was crawling to get to him. And the half of her body was all gone. It was just gone. What are you thinking in a moment like that? When you know you're losing everything you love. What are you thinking in a moment like that, huh? That's gonna leave a mark. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Blaskowitz. For a little I spoke with Caroline, she seemed like a hell of a woman. She had balls of steel. Balls. Now why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of bad assery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrapper of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Yeah, I got a couple of my own on the way. Cute little guy. It's a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? What's up, Special? There's pigs, lots of them, coming up the stairs. They're like a fucking army. Shh, the fuckers found us. Well, you got an escape strategy, Mr. Blaskowitz? Anya, we're gonna need immediate evac. Understood, William. Dispatching has one and has two for immediate extraction. Copy. Move your people to the roof. I'll stall the Nazis until our ride's here. Brothers and sisters, listen up! I need everybody to get up to the roof now. We're evacuating. And bring all the equipment you can carry. Come on, let's hustle, people! Come on, come on! Get your shit! You cool? Just make sure your people make it out. Come and fucking get me, you white-ass fascist Nazi pigs! Caroline. Look. A 
another angel. Every motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. White America, though? <laughs> they done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking Klan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Well, forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. God, I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace is always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. If nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz! You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? You wanna cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting, killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit! Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right! <laughs> What do you think about this, Mendrick? I think I got you now, my little goylem. Thanks, Hoss. I don't know, Maxilla. So this is where all the decisions are made. Huh. We're gonna need a room to sleep nearby. This one looks empty. Super Spash! Hey, Englishman. I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Please. Say what? Please, you ask for something, you say please, and don't fucking call me English, man. Okay, you wanna step to me, motherfucker, you wanna get shit done. Cause I'm game either way. Don't, don't mind that. Absolutely no control over the thing. Happy to oblige. What's up, boss? We bunking in here. You got it, sister. All right. Listen up, brothers and sisters. The, uh, touchy Englishman is gonna show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around. Find a place to bunk in, get to know the boat folk, and hey, don't start no shit. But don't take none either. Oh, okay, now. Uh, what well, the kind lady said, follow me. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in Section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed off the entrance to Section F. Because it's been flooded since the attack. Last words, you know how to swim? Yep. Maybe this isn't bad. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I said, what the fuck is this, man? Is this a working toilet I see before me, handled toward my hand? Yes. Yes, this toilet can handle all sorts of waste, from feces, urine. Vomit is your name. <laughs>